didn't even think about it until I went to the brakes, hit the brakes, and it was just dirt. I just slid straight into the concrete wall. Huge bell ringer. Just bounced in the car. I'm gonna forget that one as fast as I can. Top Gear's been a part of my life for six years, really. It takes over 100 days, uh, sometimes 150 days a year to shoot this show. It's part work, mostly vacation. It's mostly stress relief. It's just like beating up on old cars and having fun with friends. The shows are very easy to make now. You literally just show up. We just talk like we talk. Hopefully the cameras are rolling and then we go back and have some red vines. On to barbecue. Working with Adam and Rudd is great. We have a good time. But when the three of us are on set together, it's we have good energy. It's a lot of fun. That's right, Adam Ferrara, Tanner Faust, right here. From the show, top here on Adam, when I first met Adam, I think a New York comedian, I don't know much about it. Usually there's dad issues, you know, stuff, something like that. You think stereotypical comedian thing. He is one of the smartest guys I know. I'm so proud of Tanner. Thank you. He's showing off because he learned how to spell. Uh, he can drive, he just can't spell. He's also incredibly witty, which I think is what comedians don't actually get credit for, is how, you know, not just kind of on the outside confident they have to be, but just the raw wittiness and the trust in their wit that they have to have. It's different in person, right? I'm really the yeah. handsome one. You can say it. He's used to it. Uh, I'm really the tall one. Yes. <laughs> For a race car driver that has to finish first, he usually does. He's late every <laughs> morning. Every morning, rut's usually early, I'm on time, and then they'll call Tanner's room and he'll come down and go, sorry, uh, I was on the phone. I was on the phone. He still has pillow marks on his face, some kind of webbing in his mouth. All right, let's go. Rut, as I've gotten to know him, is... Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's got a lot more depth than you think. He comes off as just this likable character. Look at your biceps, good for you. Thank you. I've been thinking about going to a gym one day myself. Don't look at the camera. People like to call him the Sasquatch, but Rutledge, and he is a, uh, you know, incredibly fun guy to hang around. This is the whole thing. Yeah, I ran like a quarter, don't look at the camera. <laughs> this is Tanner's show. Sorry, Tanner. I like the variety, ultimately. And it's great to go and hang out with Adam and, and do uh, autograph sessions. I love meeting those people and um, some good barbecue. The magic is happening, Jeremy. This is life in the Faust lane. Uh, ultimately, I know that I'm a racer at heart. So I'm looking forward to getting back on the track. I've done X Games LA eight times. 2006 was the first year and we actually did eight stage miles out north of LA on the grapevine. Every year, new evolutions, new changes, sometimes two events, sometimes one event for cars. Over the years at X Games, I've done well. I think I've got more medals than anybody. The very last year, we're at a totally new venue at Irwindale, running a couple, you know, totally new events. Jim Connor Grid was uh, something I wasn't um, too set up for, so I wasn't super optimistic. But I'd done the grid before, I'd won it before, and I and I knew what needed to be done to go faster on the little course. Time-wise, after all the practice and everything, except maybe Liam, but he ended up making some mistakes at the wrong time. From last night's Jim Connor Grid competition. T. Dot Faust and that Rockstar Energy Drink Enios Motor Oil. Rally Cross was a was a decent track, good battles, a lot of passing. It was a little bit fortunate in the first corner. I didn't get tangled up in the mess and uh, ultimately finished second place. It was the culmination of all of the X Games events coming together. So to get a gold miss over there, it was awesome. I mean, it was a, it was a big payoff. Different day, different uh, different job. This one is um, a commercial for uh, Forza, using a McLaren. It's a it's a very bizarre commercial that has a cool car 
has a bizarre concept that somebody wrote down on a napkin sometime and now here we are in reality trying to pull it off.